uh, and it's my great pleasure to present our next speaker for our seminar, Professor Skapina. And I don't see presentation, so I don't remember the title. Of her okay, talk. okay, I will show. I guess you just, can go just ahead. Just a moment, and... just a moment, it yes, will be please. here. So please it go ahead. And... Not interesting. Oh, just a oh, huh? okay. This is okay. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So you can see the title and please go ahead. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank organizers uh, for inviting me here to give this lecture. Maybe for many uh, participants, a little bit exotic topic in two uh, topic in two aspects. First, not everybody works uh, with wavelength or something like this. And second, orlich spaces. Orlich space is new for me also. <laughs> First, my touching of this topic. Anyway, title as was said, wavelength approximation in orlich spaces. I will start with. Uh, giving a definition of uh, wavelet uh, uh, system. Uh, we can see the multivariate wavelet systems. They are associated with a matrix dilation. Matrix dilation, what is it? It is a square integer matrix whose eigenvalues are bigger than one. In the one-dimensional uh, case, of course, this is just uh, number and uh, typically number two. Okay, uh, wavelet system. This one is wavelet system. It consists of uh, function psi j chi l. Uh, psi l. Uh, finite number of function psi l, and this uh, is uh, these are integer translation. K okay, is integer translation, and matrix dilations m under power j j goes uh, belongs to z. Next, uh, next important property of wavelet system, so-called vanishing moment property of order S. Vanishing moment property, which means that uh, the derivative, uh, so all derivatives up to order S uh, of the Fourier transform at zero is equal to zero. Uh, it is well known uh, that this property of wavelets uh, are important for approximation, uh, for, for approximation in different other uh, senses, uh, but uh, of course, for in Orlich space also it will be needed. And I'm going to present uh, to discuss approximation properties uh, for two cases. First, wavelet frames, in particular, RIS basis, special case of wavelet frames, and so-called frame-like wavelet systems. I will say what it is. This is not well known. Remind what is it, wavelet frame. Let H be a Hilbert space and a sequence of elements in this space is called a frame. If there exist constants A and B such that this is satisfied for all F, for all F in this Hilbert space. Also, uh, if only right hand uh, inequality holds for every F, then such a system is called Bessel system. 
And the main property of the frame, frame Fn, is possibility to decompose any element F in this form. You can recognize uh, uh, decomposition with respect to du dual orthogonal bases. Uh, and uh, in the case of bases, uh, these systems are uh, bases. And here also another uh, system F tilde N appears. And this system is also a frame. And it is called dual frame to the system uh, to the frame of N in H. If A is equal to B, uh, then such a frame is called a tight frame. And uh, it's easy to see that uh, in, in this case, uh, in this case, uh, F tilde is the same. Uh, 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 dual frame coincides. Dual frame coincides with uh, given frame, uh, and one can easily recognize orthonormal basis. The same is uh, holds for any uh, with construct uh, B equal to one. So we discuss wavelet frames, two wavelet systems, multivariate wavelet system. I described uh, are dual frames in the space L2. But uh, and so so the uh, decomposition for every F from L2 will be given in this form. In this form, sum over all wavelet functions, L, finite number of wavelet functions, sum over uh, translations, K is translation, and sum over all dilation from minus infinity to infinity. There are many known wavelet frames and bases today, but they, unfortunately, they do not fall from sky. They should be constructed. They should be constructed. A method for uh, the construction of such frames is known. It was developed in the uh, 90th of 20th century, that time actively. Uh, 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 su uh, uh, su uh, such a theory was actively developed by Meyer, Debussy, Cohen, and others. And uh, they developed uh, a method in frame of cons for, for the construction in framework of multi so called multi resolution analysis. And this is connected with two uh, functions called scaling function, phi and phi tilde. So the method for construction, start, we start, one starts with two functions, special functions, not arbitrary, of course. And uh, then there is a method, a little bit will be said about this method. Uh, and after that, uh, 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 wavelet, uh, du dual wavelet system constructed, but and this is wavelet decomposition, and the same uh, the wavelet decomposition may be looked in this form. This sum only on positive eyes, and instead of negative part, uh, this is uh, expressed by. Uh, scaling functions phi and phi tilde. So this is wavelet decomposition, and this is also wavelet decomposition. So 
if we started with scaling functions phi and phi tilde, very special properties, not arbitrary, very special properties. Uh, for, for this function should be assumed. And a method for construction dual wave rates is called matrix extension print, uh, uh, principle or uh, unitary extension principle. I will write map matrix extension principle uh, and uh, uh, we have dual wavelet systems. Dual wavelet system constructed in this way uh, have the following property, the following equality. What is this? This is a partial sum of wavelet expansion, not up to infinity, up to j minus one. So this is partial sum of order j, and it may be written in terms of two scaling functions shorter. And I will write like this. But all this is not enough to, uh, to have a, a du dual frames. Uh, after this constru construction, if these both these systems, wavelet systems, are basal, then really they, uh, they are dual frames, a pair of dual frames. As I said, uh, frames uh, do not fall from the sky, but the very first frame felt uh, to HAR. It was more than 100 years ago, classical HAR system is uh, uh, maybe considered as a model example of wavelet systems. In this case, uh, both system the same, HAR system and dual system is the same, HAR system. And uh, it is easy to illustrate that they are uh, constructed by map, by matrix extension principle from this function, characteristic function of zero, one. Of course, Har did not use uh, <laughs> such words as wavelets and uh, multi-resolution analysis uh, did not exist uh, that time, but uh, this is a good illustration. Next, some information about Orlich space. A function theta defined on zero infinity and, take, uh, and takes to zero infinity is called a Young function if it is convex and theta of x is equal to zero if and only if x is equal to zero. Uh, there are different, uh, in, in the literature, there are different uh, versions of this definition. Sometimes it is assumed a little bit more. Sometimes this part is not assumed, only theta of x is equal to zero. But we use this definition. Next, we need the following functional i theta of f associated with this uh, young function theta and all each space is a space of of measurable functions such that this functional is finite for some lambda for some lam positive uh, lambda and uh, another space, E theta, the same but for all lambda. This functional is finite for all lambda. And uh, next we have a modular convergence, 
connected with this functional. A sequence Fn in the space L theta is set to modular converges to zero if uh, this tends to zero for some lambda. And similarly, uh, modular converges in this uh, space Ej uh, if this converges holds true for all lambda. Sometimes this uh, space is called small uh, Orlich space. Small Orlich space. But for many young functions, these two spaces coincide. Namely, there is so called delta two condition. Theta is said to satisfy delta two condition if there exists a constant k bigger than two such that this holds. And if if theta satisfies delta two condition, in this case, Orlich space and small Orlich space are the same. Typical examples. First of all, theta of x is equal to x under the power p, and we recognize that this is the usual LP spaces. And a lot of such functions with different logarithms, uh, powers of logarithms, this, this uh, theta satisfy delta two condition. But there are some other Young functions, exponent, uh, all the uh, all these examples are uh, associated with exponent, and they do not satisfy do not not satisfy delta two condition. There is extensive literature, many monographs, even more than fifty years ago. There was Krasnoselsky, Rudnitsky, then. Musiliak, uh, Musiliak uh, later, later, but not so many results which are close to my uh, problem I'm going to consider. Uh, approximation results of the, this type. There was a paper 14 15 years ago, there was a paper by Butzer and uh, uh, it, his Italian colleagues about Kantarovich type uh, operators. Kantarovich type operators look look exactly like uh, like what we discuss, but they are not connected with wavelets. And phi tilde is the characteristic function of zero one. And phi, they assumed that phi uh, has good enough decay and proved that uh, for every f in Orlich space, there exists lambda such that the error goes to zero as j goes to infinity. And only, only convergence without the rate Later, later, these Italian mathematicians uh, published some estimate, but it, that estimate was via modulus of continuity, no, Orlich modulus of continuity. And uh, such a rate, uh, approximation order, because of such an estimate, cannot be uh, bigger than one. Bigger than one. Uh, and this is not strange because 
to provide better approximation order than one uh, some special assumption on phi is needed and we are we want to estimate the say and we want to obtain uh, approximation order not only first order uh, but bigger uh, for this will be assume something about uh, wavelet functions, namely vanishing moment properties. And of course, of course, uh, good approximation uh, order may be only for smooth functions f. That's why we need a notion of uh, uh, all lich Sobolev space which consists of measurable functions such that all derivatives up to order s uh, belong uh, to the Orlich space Orlich Sobolev space natural uh, the same as for the lp space and i'm ready to present a theorem let S be a positive integer and F uh, belongs to Orlich Sobolev space of order S. Suppose uh, two wavelet systems, psi and psi tilde, are dual wavelet frames generated by phi and phi tilde by matrix extension principle. And moreover, uh, integer shifts of phi and phi tilde are basic uh, systems and uh, Fourier transform uh, of phi and phi tilde at zero is equal to one also the system psi tilde we will the system has vanishing moment properties of order s Next, next we need uh, good enough decay for both scaling functions and for all wavelet functions. New, uh, new is radial decreasing function such that this is satisfied. So uh, decay depends only on S. And we have this estimate. Let us look what is this. This is arrow. This is arrow. And we see rho under the power minus sj, approximation order. But what is it rho? The number rho uh, is uh, any, uh, any number bigger than 1, which is less than any eigenvalue of m. Eigenvalues of m are bigger than 1. Rho is less than each of these eigenvalues. Let us consider the one-dimensional case. In this case, m is just a number, for example, 2. And in this case, we can write m just here. More or less the same for some class of uh, uh, matrices, isotropic, but in the general case, we cannot take minimal um, eigenvalue, only rho less than the minimal eigenvalue. So, we see approximation order S uh, is satisfied. If moreover F in small Orlich space and uh, its derivatives uh, up to order S uh, is also there, then this relation holds for every lambda. Okay, let us look. Is this uh, estimate good or not? In first of view, it may be since that this is a bad. This is a bad thing. Why? <clears throat> Why? Because, because let us consider LP space. What is here? What is here? We write absolute value under the power P. This is not norm in P. Uh, uh, in LP space, this is norm under the power p but if we 
right estimate for, for norm, it will be S over P. But for LP space, of course, such uh, theorems are known for uh, the LP spaces. And uh, it has approximation order S, and we do not get this. OK, let us look. Let us look. Uh, uh, some other examples. Uh, LP space, I, I want to say that LP space for which this is bad, later will be another theorem for uh, 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 for, for uh, uh, young function, for good young functions such as LP space. And let us consider this example. This does not satisfy delta two condition. Delta two condition, uh, in contrast to LP spaces where this condition holds. Uh, and one dimensional case, and very simple case, phi and phi tilde is the characteristic function. So I said already, the, uh, this corresponds to usual higher basis, orthogonal higher basis. And we take f, very simple function, hot, compactly supported function. It's easy to see that uh, this uh, function f is in sobriff Orlich space W1. And we can compute everything. This can be computed explicitly. This operator looks like this. Next, we take arbitrary, arbitrary lambda, arbitrary positive lambda. arbitrary positive lambda and compute explicitly everything. And we see that this is bigger or equal than this value to under the power j, uh, minus j, <laughs> minus j. Uh, and that theorem gave just approximation order one and it is, cannot be better than order one. But for LP, this is not good. And uh, and let us look, uh, how is it possible to improve, to improve? Uh, actually, in our text, in our paper, we uh, formulated the theorem as corollary, and uh, theorem, uh, estimating the theorem, was given is in this form. Uh, this looks awful, but in the one-dimensional case, it is clear that uh, this is m under the power uh, minus js, but this factor, this factor, is inside of the functional, and we, if we take off, we get was what was in the theorem. But let us look here. Again, we take a, a young function which does not satisfy delta two condition. This one, and compute compute what we have in one dimensional case, and we have better. Estimate, but in that form, in that form we cannot approve. In this form, we can extract approximation order for some concrete functions, and sometimes it is better. Next definition of norm in Orlich space. There is a norm. It is called Luxembourg norm. Luxembourg norm. 
uh, is def uh, determined like this, this infimum. It is norm and the space uh, LQ equated by this Luxembourg norm is a Banach space. So we can estimate in norm, but for this we assume that theta satisfies delta two condition. Again, f uh, s is a positive integer, f is in sobolev orlich space, and dual wavelet systems, uh, we assume all the same as in the previous theorem. Decay, uh, good enough decay, and uh, constructed by map, exactly the same. So, in this case, we have error stand-made in norm, in norm, and again, approximation order S, but in another sense, in the sense of uh, converges in Luxembourg norm. I want to add about these two theorems. As I said already, these assumptions that the system are constructed by MIP, it is natural. Actually, all known wavelet systems, frame and basis are constructed in the, uh, this way. There are some uh, couple of examples uh, which are not constructed by matrix extension principle, but this is rather exotic. Standardly, all wavelet systems are constructed by MAP, and so they are associated with the corresponding scaling function, and all this is so. And related to these assumptions, also concrete known examples are usually satisfy such condition, for some S, of course. Uh, uh, what, what concrete example? Many different uh, uh, compactly supported band limited wavelets, spline wavelets, uh, also uh, wavel du dual wavelet system for which this is not uh, true, very exotic. So many assumptions, but they are natural. Next, I'm going to discuss so-called frame-like wavelet systems. As I just said, uh, construction of frames uh, is based on uh, multi-resolution analysis, uh, on uh, uh, matrix extension uh, principle. Uh, all this is uh, uh, good described, uh, but uh, there, uh, there are some difficult things in that construction. In particular, providing vanishing moments of order one to both the systems. In the theorem, we uh, assumed uh, that uh, uh, vanishing moments for this, for this system, tilde, uh, vanishing moments of order S, they are really needed to provide approximation order. But if we deal with frames, automatically vanishing moments of order one should be satisfied for this psi L. This is not needed to provide approximation order, but this is needed to provide frames. And all this uh, 
Sorry. A technical problem. Now it's normal. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Hi, Lobby. Yes. Uh, uh, wavelets, uh, dual wavelets are very useful for application. First of all, for application uh, uh, to signal processing, to engineering problems. Actually, development of the whole theory 30 years ago uh, was very connected with uh, uh, such engineering problems. And engineers use uh, these results and not only ready wavelet system which are written somewhere written somewhere but also they know uh, technique of construction and uh, they uh, uh, try to construct what they need they understand what the, what is good and what is bad because they look pictures they touch with hands the signals and see it uh, with eyes, uh, that they decide what to use better themselves. And sometimes in some papers uh, we could see they write frames, but it was not satisfied that uh, vanishing moment of order first for Psi L is zero. But this is necessary to have frames. So, so they constructed different uh, systems, wavelets, using map, uh, but, but uh, and wrote frames, but really it was not frame. And we, with my co author, about 10 years ago, decided to describe such system, called them. Uh, <coughs> frame like wavelet system uh, and uh, uh, create a theory for construction such system and how to provide vanishing moment for the system psi tilde uh, uh, vanishing moments of arbitrary order s i will tell a little bit about this so we need now a definition of uh, refinable functions, scaling function. I, I said before that uh, it satisfies very special conditions. This special condition is uh, uh, is re a refinement equation. This is refinement equation given in terms of the Fourier transform, and this is one periodic function. One periodic function. But uh, now we discuss construction of compactly supported wavelet. In this case, M0 is a trigonometric polynomial. M0 is called refinable mask or scaling mask, so refinable scaling mask is a trigonometric polynomial. Next, we need the following representation of arbitrary trigonometric polynomials. Here, S, K are digits and mu, zero, K are trigonometric polynomials. What is a digit? Let us consider first one dimensional case. Well, it is uh, in this case, M, uh, M and the same M star is uh, a number. And so we understand what is it digest. For example, if m is equal to two, we have two digits, zero and one. And if we have uh, m is equal to ten, we have usual our digits. For matrix, there is some analog, some analog, a number of vectors which are digest, uh, such that any integer vector is. Uh, uh, compatible uh, with one of digits. Uh, and uh, uh, a set of digits uh, can be taken for uh, as all integer uh, vectors in this set. Okay, so we can represent 
uh, a metric polynomial in this form and mu zero k are called pol uh, polyphase components. And we, uh, if phi uh, is refinable, it's easy to see that phi hat is the infinite product. Uh, if M0 is trigonometric polynomial, it is converged uh, on any uh, compact. If we consider, and we consider uh, phi and phi tilde, also refinable function, we start with them. And so we have two trigonometric polynomial, M0 and M0 tilde. After that, after that, uh, just map, just map matrix extension principle. What is this? Write in the first row of this matrix polyphase components of M0. These functions. And another matrix, write polyphase components here. Next, we extend matrices by trigonometric polynomials. All these are trigonometric polynomials, so that this is satisfied. In other words, uh, columns are by orthogonal of these two matrices. This extension is simple, is actually explicit based on householder transform. So this is not uh, <laughs> Technically, this is simple and engineers like to compute such things explicitly. And after that, after that, we have wavelets. For example, take the second row. We have polyphase function for a new, uh, for a new uh, mask, which is wavelet mask. ML. ML, we take the row number L and uh, define, define the corresponding mask by the same formula. So we have wavelet masks and we have wavelet functions. Therefore, your transform is defined like this. And what we need, we need provide vanishing moments for psi tilde hat. This is possible as follows. Polyphase functions are chosen by this formula for some uh, numbers, complex numbers lambda, if such complex number Lambda exist. We take, we define polyphase uh, functions, and hence we define uh, wavelet uh, uh, scaling mask M zero. After that, we define um, uh, polyphase. Uh, functions mu tilde, and this is very simple. This is a little bit more complicated, but possible. Many examples may be constructed in this way. So after that, we have the dual, dual wavelet systems, and this condition is provided due to such formulas. So we have we have dual wavelet systems in contrast to construction of frames where all functions in L2 are in L2. Here they may be in difference psi L and psi tilde L may be in different spaces. Uh, in particular, they may be in Orlich space. And generally speaking, they are 
distributions, but many examples were there in different spaces. And let us look what happens in LP. Of course, in LP everything is studied, was studied before, and uh, we have we have what we need. We have uh, uh, the same estimate approximation order S here, and um, th 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 this is sharp order. Uh, but to obtain uh, the, sa the same as uh, was for frames, for frame-like systems. But what is here? Here phi, phi is an LP, and we need this operator to be an LP. For this, phi tilde should be an LQ. And first, before this is made, first of all, we have to check that this is in LP. But now we want to take phi in uh, the Orlich space. What is an analog of, L, uh, of uh, LQ for, for the Orlich frame? Do, do it exist? Yes, yes, it's okay, such a uh, dual frame exists, a function theta star uh, given in this, uh, uh, by this formula, such as a premium, is called conjugate to the young function theta. It is known that this is also a young function. Also, Helder's inequality holds. Helder's inequality holds, and so, uh, uh, this is really analog of L, Q, and L, P space. And I decided that it is necessary, first of all, for our goal, it, it is necessary to prove that F, if F and phi in L theta in Orlich space and uh, phi tilde in the conjugate space, then this is in LQ. Because of technique for LP, it was clear that something should be assumed about theta. This is so-called delta prime condition. Uh, a little bit more district uh, uh, than uh, delta two condition. Uh, it looks like this. But uh, most uh, uh, young functions with different logarithms, uh, for most uh, that uh, functions, uh, this is also sat satisfied. But I'm trying to prove and cannot, and I cannot understand what happened uh, from the one hand from another and cannot prove it should be. This is, everything should be similarly to LP and LQ. And I became very angry. I found an example, a counterexample. A counterexample. Consider such a, a, a young function theta very close to L1. Satisfies delta prime condition, easily to check. Theta star conjugate. Next, we take phi tilde, these compactly supported functions, and let us check that phi tilde is in this space. Uh, no, this space cannot be given by formula explicitly, but nevertheless, it is not complicated to check. Uh, we introduce a function. A supremum of this function is just supremum of uh, uh, this function is just uh, theta star of t and uh, denote by s star a point where supremum is achieved. Next, we see that uh, the derivative at zero is positive, derivative is negative uh, whenever this, 
uh, hence uh, for S star we have the following estimate. After that we can check belonging of this function uh, due to this inequality. We just write this inequality and we obtain that the integral is finite. So really this function belongs to the conjugate space. And next, next we take phi, the simplex, uh, again characteristic for function of 0, 1. And we take function f, such a function f, such a function is not compactly supported, but a good function. It is easy to check that both phi and f is L theta in, in the Orlich space. And after that, we can compute. We can compute. This is very simple function. Uh, after calculations, it looks it looks like this. It looks like this. After computing integral, we see that this uh, is bigger than this divergent sum. So we cannot assume similarly to LP space then the conjugate that f uh, we cannot consider complete analog of that's why we assume that phi tilde is uh, in l infinity and phi in the orlich space rem states that if the young function satisfies delta prime condition and both functions are compactly supported, and this I said already, then we have that we have this inequality, which means that this uh, sum is in the Orlich space. And uh, the same as it was for frames, we uh, 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 our frame-like systems, say uh, Psi JK, Psi uh, Tilde JK, a du dual wavelet uh, system generated by MAP, then, then uh, we uh, uh, a partial sum of wavelet expansion of order J may be written in terms of scaling functions, the same was for frames. And now we have the theorem, the following theorem. Let theta satisfies delta prime condition. No, of course the young function theta, it is not said here. Yeah, the uh, young function theta satisfies delta prime condition s is uh, positive integer f in orlich sobolev space phi is in l theta and phi tilde as i explained may be taken from uh, we may take only from l infinity are refinable compactly supported functions psi jk l and psi tilde bjkl a dual wavelet system generated from phi and phi tilde by map and such that the system this one has vanishing moment propent of s then we have we have the same what was for lp and what was for uh, frames and what was for we will at frames in another words the wavelet expansion has approximation order s in the sense of convergence in the luxembourg norm 
That's all. Well, thank you very much for very nice talk. And this is time for questions. Please, if any question. Well, Maria, I remember that we have been talking about the situation that it may be that some results can be obtained or maybe not from Lebesgue results, from results for LP space by interpolation. But I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, uh, no. I. I, I I remember this question. Uh, we looked. Uh, we looked. It does not look that uh, it's possible because of many reasons. Uh, I, I yes, I understand. It. Yes, yes. It 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 was kind of general question, just general wondering. I was not sure about this at all because it's kind of tricky when you do speak about boundedness or can kind of such properties. You can do this, but you speak about interpolation and approximation so it's it's different okay uh, the question from Nishnograd mm -hmm. yeah please go ahead uh, Maria Alexandrovna uh, have you observed any interest from real engineers uh, to apply your approaches to uh, processing of real images but i i said in the middle of my talk i said that it came just from uh, this second part uh, frame like wavelets just came from engineers which tried to construct the no, not in knowledge space not in knowledge space of course <laughs> no uh, if you mean is it interesting to engineers in Orlich space? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe in LP space also not. They just uh, uh, look what happens. But uh, generally speaking, such systems are very interested for engineers. They use uh, they, uh, I, I just said they wrote frames, but it is not frames. That's why we wrote uh, a general uh, scheme for construction. And they may be in knowledge space and estimate in knowledge space. I don't, uh, I'm not sure <laughs> that engineer. It seems to me that it's interesting to compare your approaches developed for knowledge space and uh, engineering approaches uh, where they used another functionals, for instance, the kulbuk labor divergence and so forth. And in particular, I we can to collaborate with you in order to to do this comparison on the basis of the images of radars with synthetic aperture. Of antenna. No, <laughs> such engineering terms I do not know, but uh, are they use wavelets or, or something else? Um, if you don't like uh, radars with synthetic aperture of antenna, we may uh, use as, as basics the scanning probe microscopy data on for crystals. Okay, well, it's kind of research proposal, I guess. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you. Maybe more questions. Is the question? Hello. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah, I'm Satish Kumar from India. Uh, hi, Satish. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. So please go ahead with your question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to know that, uh, that this approximation uh, in our leak spaces, so can it be possible to extend the same results in some other function spaces? 
So, uh, yes. what modular? Do you mean modular spaces? Yeah, yeah. Of course, the modular spaces are something else. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready to say. Uh, this is my very first uh, working in all its spaces. First, yeah. uh, I think uh, it was uh, to extend to quasi projection operators. Uh, okay. But yeah. uh, I, I did not think about this. And I yeah. can say that some papers in modular space, uh, I yeah, saw that's literature, so, sometimes they write very general, but without examples. <laughs> so I do not quite understand uh, for, for, for which uh, such consideration should be done. Maybe, uh, yeah. but uh, uh, for yeah. me it's, it's not clear. Uh, yeah, that, that's the question. Like, yeah, because once you have done some kind of approximation in orlic spaces, uh, we can think of modular spaces. I think we can think of it. I'm not very sure about it, but I think we can think of it. Uh, look at the details. Uh, I did not think about this. I did it. Yeah. First, I need an example for which, for, for which uh, modular space, but not all each space. Uh, uh, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. I have a, I mean, if you have some time, I have a one more question. Can I ask? Yeah, yeah. please. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. So I just wonder that uh, uh, the multivariate approximation can be also done uh, for your case, I think, because you are talking about a single variate approximation. I mean, you take a function and you try to give an order of approximation of that function. But what about that multivariate function? If I take a function in uh, Rn, then can it be possible to approximate by your approach? Sorry, I did not catch a multivariate. And what do you want? <coughs> Uh, I, I want to approximate a multivariate function by uh, this wavelet approximation. I consider it only, only multivariate functions. Only multivariate. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then it's fine. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Matrix dilation only in the multidimensional case. Uh, of course, for one dimensional, this is the same. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Alexey asked me to continue because he, he is without battery uh, in his computer. So if there are more questions, please. So it seems to be not the case. Then thank you very much again for a very interesting talk. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.